urgent. The Democrats just attempted a military coup against Trump. This is bad. Fifty House Democrats have now sent a letter to Defense Secretary Mattis and General Dunford, Jr., urging them not to comply with the President's order to ban transgender troops from serving in the military. Kyle Griffin, 50 plus House Democrats are urging Secretary of Defense, Joint Chiefs of Staffs, not to comply with Trump's transgender troops ban. The letter reads, we write to not only express our strong opposition to President Trump's recent tweets seeking to ban transgender individuals from the military, but to remind you not to comply with any unconstitutional directive which may ultimately be issued. The letter to Secretary of Defense James Mattis and Joseph Dunford, Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, read, We reject the premise that the presence of transgender troops interferes with the morale or combat readiness of our armed forces. This letter was spearheaded by Representative John Conyers and Representative Adam Smith and was announced right after Trump's Twitter blast last week, says TMP. After con uh, consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and uh, disruptions that transgender in the military would entail. Thank you. The measure supposedly caught the Pentagon by surprise, GOP senators fought against the ban, too. Dunford sent out a memo right after the announcement saying that they were not changing the policy until the Department of Defense got explicit guidance from the president. According to TPM, the Rand Corporation said that it could cost the government $2.9 million to $4.2 million a year to fund hormone therapy for transgender troops. Mike Cernovich tweets here, Democrats advocate for a military coup. Share this if you think this is total overreach by the House Democrats. This is the president's executive decision. The democratic coup of our president needs to stop. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this letter, uh, Congress of the United States, House of Representatives, to James Mattis, Secretary of Defense, and General Joseph Dunford, uh, Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff, you're kidding me. I mean, they're fighting him on every level, and they don't care what the cost. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The, the amount for just such trivialities, I should say, at this point. They're fighting Congress. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's, uh, let's really fight a battle with all this crap going on, you know, where they have to be concerned over feelings and, uh, you know, which bathroom who's going to use. I mean, it's, I don't know, this is insanity. Insanity at its, at its finest. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.